starting a oh, starting a fresh plot today. Plots 14 and 15. So we're we're building these ones up here at the minute. We've just come down and built this second lift yesterday. So we're going up over to here on plot 14 and 15. They are HA2B. That's the type of house it is. Now, um, I need to check what type of bricks they are. Uh, just double check what type of bricks they are. Um, so we've got the drawer in here. And if you look on down here, just keep an eye out for handed and opposites. Uh, opposites and as. As means um, it is as the drawing shows. And opposite means it's opposite to how the drawing shows. So we've got 14 and 15, plot 14, 15. So plot 14 is an opposite plot. Plot 15 is an as plot. Um, and then when I get there, I'll know that the, when I get out there, the one on the left hand side is a 14 and the one on the right hand side is a 15. Just, um, so you have to keep an eye out for that. Um, what I'll do is I'll get Harry, I'm gonna get Harry to go and collect the frames. So all it'll be is a door and a window and two um, firmer baits at the back. Oh, we've got a side window there as well, look. So we've got, two, we've got a side window, a front window, a door and a back door. And that is it. Uh, we've got gas and a gas and electric box. And it looks like we've got a stone sill at the front. I'll have to get a detail on that because I don't know uh, if we've got them on site. So I'll have to get, I'll probably get Harry to go and check that for me. Um, so yeah, let's get over there and have a look anyway. breaking government rules, MSPs have been looking at... Have you fucking done this yet? Have <laughs> <laughs> you done this yet? Huh? Mm -hmm. No. That's for me. <laughs> Dunno mate. Might have to ask Dawan and see if they'll give us a lift with a tub to get us going. Let me set some profiles up. Clamps over here, have we?
Amy's bag. Did you pick my level up, Amy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Fucking quick on the floor. What, right on the top bit where there's no steel toe cap? Yeah. Yeah, mate. It went down on the corner as well, so it's... Oh, lovely. Fucking hell. I'm going to put it in the accident book, don't I? Yeah, mate. You've got to put it in the accident book. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, what's he doing? He's fucking getting belt on. I feel lost without any belt. That fucking does hurt, I feel your pain, mate. Oh I've done it a few times. Ideally, we want to set it up 10 mil high because door frames come up 10 mil high, and that's the height you have to hit. So we'll get that set up 10 mil high. do it up too tight at the bottom because I need to see which one I need to adjust One done, it's got to get one there, one there, and one there. All right, so we're all set up. We're the forklift driver is, uh, is not running at the minute. He, he, something happened to the forklift last night, so it's uh, half eight. We're still waiting for muck at the minute. Um, Sorry? Mark? That ain't ours? Well, that one? No? What? I've done a blue tub. Oh, that's dirty. That's fucking ours. Is that ain't blue, is it? Oh, fuck me. I was thinking that ain't our fucking. T <laughs> yeah, go on, chuck some muck out first, Harry. Cheers. 
Cheers for doing that, mate. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that ain't gonna get up on her fucking loading bay, is it? Yeah. Let's put stick it here if he wants, right here. Lovely. Cheers for that. Hello, mate. Huh? It's more like it. You should do our tubs every morning. <laughs> right, I need to get yourself a. got a three two eight so we've got a brick and a half brick and a half there then a movement joint a movement joint there <laughs> and then what on earth is that design all about I really don't see why you'd have a movement joint there there wasn't one on the other house so why would there be one here anyway Do you usually use a forky, do you? Uh, does the forky usually help you out, does he? <laughs> yeah. Fuck knows, mate. Uh, there, there should be someone coming out first thing for the forks. See you in a bit, mate. Right, we've got for this door 440 so that's a two brick two brick there i'm going to start there aim eh? if you start about let's just say say roughly about here aim eh? yeah just upright just keep keep upright your first um uh, lay your first one with your eye lay about three bricks and then come back and um plumb it yeah because it because if you plumb it first then it's probably gonna move once you back your bricks up against it. So, right, this back section, got one meter 115, which is about there. I want a bad guess, was it? Uh, and then you got brick and a half. Like that, yeah, yeah just keep a night. Just don't worry about uh, upright in the expansion, right? Right, just because just keep an eye that this is plumb, yeah, and just keep a nice 10 mil perp and then just make sure that your um, expansion is nice and tight, yeah, yeah. So, at one meter 115 is brickwork, so yeah, it should be, should be brickwork. Let's have a look. Am I going now? Yeah, yeah, crack on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, you got on this side what we have. We have a uh, damp, so it'll be the damp will be cut from here to here, so it folds up into here. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll have a weak vent either side, not in the middle, either yep. side. All right. Yeah, that's fine. All right. All right let's get a couple of courses down. First bit today, is it? It is a two brick pier, but don't assume that you should just do two bricks with nice perp because you might have two small bricks, and then later on, when you get a bit higher, you might have two big bricks. 
so you won't be able to fit them in. So always do it to the measurement at 4, 440. And that way, you know, if you get a, if you get a big brick, a couple of big bricks, it's still going to fit. And if you get a couple of small bricks, it's still going to fit. All right, I've got a brick. I've got a brick. I've got a brick and a half as well. Brick and a half. Three to eight, yeah, brick and a half. And then I've got a movement joint. Four fifty, mate. I need a cut them at six. Uh, hang on, what's the matter? I don't know how to do it. Hold, hold the level like that at the bottom. Hold it there and move the bit to it. Yeah. yeah I, can't see, I can't see where it's come. Look at the bottom. Are you trying to look at the top? Yeah. Just look at the bottom for now. Yeah. Keep an eye on the bottom. Keep an eye on the brick. Yeah. Lovely. Is that all the 450 over here, is it? Yeah. Yeah, right. Cut me, what, cut, we need one, two, three, at six, seven, five, yeah?
Alter. Ja. We got weight vents. We got weight vents down there. So it's going in this one. Coming up in that one and that one. Yeah, mate, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm just doing it in little bits at a time, mate, but uh, this, yeah, if you take. Just leave that on, mate, take it off, don't really matter, whatever. You've got another brick to come up to here, look. Yeah, another brick up to there, then it's got to fold up there, like that, yeah? All right, let's give it a go. I'll do this little bit here and I'll show you. See when you're perping it that way, look. Try and get more of an angle. If that's a bit more like that. That's why I ain't gonna push out to the front. Yeah? All right, you're a little bit forward on your perps. Not a lot. Literally minimal. So it just goes up in here like this, look. Like that. Yeah? And then make sure when you go over the top again, it goes like that, yeah? But... Get a muck. Purple brick up, as normal. All right, back end. That's it. it and then it's gonna be there like that 
And it goes against there. Just watch. Huh? Don't worry about the bottom. Keep my arm on the top, that's it. I'm gonna get that nice and tight up against there. Nice and tight. Just keep that down there like that. Yeah. See that fold up in that one there like that, like that, and then you have your full brick there, and then just double check because because these these yeah they tend to make your fucking perps open right up, so you yeah. just got to be careful that you ain't opened up too much. Let's have a little look at that one. Because it looks like it's going to be pushed forward a lot, but just for this one, it might be worth just. Uh, cropping one because yeah we're like 15 mil forward so uh, that should be three two eight three yeah that's good and then get tight there there's a little bit there nice and tight there and what we got now that's a bit better might be worth just going just because of all because of this here as well it might be worth yeah. just going 10 mil big yeah you're a little bit yeah it's a little bit big but it's good it's good squeeze that one up that one yeah all right let's crack on to the next one Uh, yeah, until you get to that line, shouldn't take too long. Should only take a couple of courses. Harry's sorting me out all the door frames and that if you're wondering where he is.
690. Uh, your times table for setting out brickwork is your nine times table, but if you're to the left hand side of the tape, you're 10 mil back, so it'll be three, three meters 590. But if you're at the right, the left hand side of the brick, the right hand side of the tape, you'll be 36. Because that's that's your bond there. Look, that's 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 gauge there. Yeah. So on the right hand side of the measurement, it'll be 36. But if you're going to go to the left hand side of 36, you've got to take 10 mil off to go back. But yeah, the bond has moved a bit, so I'm going to reset it out. 45. How's the old fork you getting on, Harry? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Ah, uh, no. Uh, um, I'll find it on the window and that. Yeah. Uh, I did, I thought I'd get on the gas pump and the electric pump, yeah. Right. I've got a bit of fun back, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, alright, mate. There's not a lot you could have even done with the formers anyway. 36. Yeah, we're pretty much back now. Yeah, that fucking muck might be a bit wet in the middle as well. I don't know why it just started coming out all sloppy. Ah, uh, they're just shit, mate. The fucking silos are shit. Right, uh, I've adjusted the gauge a little bit. Yeah. Always lay, always lay this one first, right? And as well, let's try a sec. Uh, just you're a little bit low to your line there because we're bumping up. Uh, just fuck me. What was that? A 12 you've cut down? Yeah. That feels weird. I like it, though. It's like a triangle trail, isn't it? It's yeah. like my fucking other one I've done. Lay this one first, but always make sure you're taking this away, yeah? Yeah. I mean, come down, look. If you come down here, look. You see that? How low you are to it? Yeah. Just that one. It's just yeah. that one, all right. Let's just be careful with that. Uh, yeah, I've adjusted. The, I've adjusted. What, what's just ignore what you've just done, because I've got massive perps down there, and you've got tight ones down here. So I've just uh, evened them all back out. If you start from start from here, if you start from the, this side of the, this board for now, and go this way, yeah. So second board in, bit about here, this brick here, yeah? See how you get on from here. But just lay, ignore what's below and lay this brick here, yeah? Just ignore this completely. Ignore what you've done here on the next one as well, all right? Because I've got to adjust that as well. Uh, all right, let's get cracking on with it, some music on. Well, been a bit of a slow start this morning. I had no forklift driver all morning, but luckily um, the ground workers have brought us over a couple of tubs and the fork had pretty much preloaded the uh, lift for us anyway, so we still managed to crack on, but it was just a little bit uh, slow on the uptake. But yeah, we should get a few down, get a few down today. Um, see how it goes. Uh, Yeah, we're just, it's just a bit shit really, we ain't got forky, so that's a bit of a pain in the ass. See how it goes. Fuck you now, what a pain in the ass has been today. We've literally, it's just gone one and the forklift driver's been sorted. It's just been a really slow going today. Um, I've had a few people message me about work and that. About you know, what's the pay like? What's, how much will I get paid being on the hod? You know, it's experience. It's like, you know, a bricklayer can't, an unexperienced bricklayer can't turn up and say, what's the pay like for a bricklayer if you're not a proper bricklayer? No. <laughs> um, an experienced brick, uh, experienced hod carrier will be, you know, depending on experience, can be between 120, 160 a day, you know, 
and that's you know a really good hog carrier will be a really really good hog carrier will be on about 160 a day from my knowledge anyway 160 a day uh, an average hog carrier he don't really pull his weight but knows what he's doing 120 a day someone with no experience whatsoever you know you're looking at about 80 pound a day because you're basically a laborer you're not a hod carrier <coughs> But it can, can vary depending on who you work for. If you're someone that picks it up quick and you know someone can recognize that, then they might give you more, they might not. Depends on the person, really. Um, same with bricklaying as well. Um, you're not going to know what you're going to get paid until you know you, if you're going to turn up to work and lay fucking 300 bricks. You know, that's about 150 quid. Once you've taken up, taken out your your, um, your cut towards the hog carrier, I don't know. Let's say you're a two and one. Your hog carrier's 120 a day. That's 60 quid you've got to cover. If you've laid 150 quid's worth of fucking bricks, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You, you've only made 90 quid. Um, you know, a, a decent a decent bricklayer on price. You know, a half half decent bricklayer will, will lay you know six seven hundred day in day out but they'll lay more when you've got the big long straights because you like you lay less when you do the um the fiddly bits like second lifts they're called murder lifts for a reason um and what you find is with a lot of day working bricklayers is they'll see a big flank and they'll plod along really slow oh i ain't laying too many which is fine but when it comes to when it comes to doing your like murder lifts and stuff, <laughs> they're laying like 200 bricks a day. Um, so you know, money depends on experience. Uh, it, you know, and it's, you can't lie about it. You can't lie about your experience because if you've got someone that knows what they're doing who's employing you, um, they'll. It will only take them a, an hour to figure out your experience. Not even that. Ten minutes. Um, so, experience-wise, it depends on what you get paid in this in this job. You know. Um, God, my arms aching. I oh, fuck holding that. We've got um, a little bit left to do. Got a few more courses left. Um, the muck's been drying out really quick because you know it's been a bit slow. Um, just been explaining things to Jamie. He's um, he's done bricklaying, but he's been more of a general builder. So um, you know, he explained to me that he's not too quick at the minute, which is you know, he's, he's being honest. Um, you know, and one of the speed picks up, you know, because if you're a general builder and you're not doing brick laying every day, when you come onto site against someone who's been laying bricks day in, day out, the speed difference is going to be quite astronomical. <coughs> um, a lot of people don't actually realise how hard it is on site to lay a lot of bricks every day, consistently every day, you know. Um, good bricklayer makes it look easy and uh, and it seems that a lot of people think oh I can do that and then they'll soon realize that once they come on site and start trying to start trying to get them down it's a lot harder than what it fucking looks but um, I've got hopefully I've got another lad starting to get Harry on the trail because you know he's proven himself day in day out um, like Amy has you know I've, I've had a few sour comments towards Amy at the minute I don't know why you know <laughs> you know she's me missus if she's gonna moan about the weather you know but she's been there day in day out you know someone said about um oh she's had a day off to do uni I made her have the day off physically made her you know give her a right hook <laughs> no but oh, seriously she, she she was arguing with me to come in and I just pretty much made her and I said look your, your uni's important you can't fall behind on it but um yeah 
Amy's proved herself day in day out with me. You, all you see is little bits of a day. You know, you might catch a bit, of, a bit of a moody bit every now and then. Do you know what I mean? It's, you can't be happy all day, every day at work. Um, I know what you're saying, but I know the ins and outs of what's really going on. Um, and she's proved herself to stay on that trail to me, and that's all that matters. So. You know, I'm trying my best to get another hog carrier. Jamie um, got in contact with me a long time ago about coming in on the trail. So, you know, he's got a little bit more experience than the other two. But he's gonna, he'll need a bit of work on as well, which I don't mind. Um, and yeah, we, I'm just trying to get another hog carrier at the minute. Um, and it'll only be one hog carrier because really with four bricklayers you'll need two hog carriers but at the minute with the speed and with how much I'm explaining stuff um, someone should be able to keep up with us and load out in front uh, but until I see that the hog carrier we've got is struggling to load out in front and keep up with Mark and tidy up then I don't warrant getting two hog carriers but I'm nearly out of battery, I ain't got my charger, so I'm gonna cut this off now and then to show you what we get done at the end of the day, because uh, I fucked up not bringing my charger. Go, Amy. There you go, Amy. Here's your pink bucket. <laughs> All right, one meter, 115, wasn't it? Don't matter if you're 10 mil big, though. The music has gone for this afternoon because I'm recording whatever's left on the battery. So we'll see how far that goes. Well, you know. Stupid place to put fucking movement joints. Who are you fucking talking to? Yourself? That's alright then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time she's called me that. <laughs> All right. I think you have a love love relationship. Uh, yeah. Me. 
Oh my dear lord. What do we have here? <laughs> oh my dear lord. Oh my dear lord. Well I kept it how you told me to. I know, I know, I know what I said. But you yeah, keep an eye on the perps as well. I know I said keep them tight, but not that fucking tight. They're nice 10 mil perps, thank you. <sighs> yeah, but depends depends what the brick size has come up at. I didn't hear you tap tap tapping. Alright. Uh, you can just do that, but then because these bricks don't fill out very well. have it is all on show so I have to fill any little fucking holes up right, yeah right I'm all right yeah what the course we've done below yeah, yeah. we've done our two courses now so Yeah, yeah, hang on, I'll put it on. Look, when, you, when you're doing a tingle, right, all you have to do, that's what it's called, a tingle. It's a bit Yeah, but we're tingling it up, tingling the line, right? Tingling. So, when you're doing a tingle, all you need to do, because there'd be like, you know, it'd probably be about five mil sag in the line. Why are you tingling? Why? Just to stop the line moving about. So you just literally want to be a few mil above the line close as you can can to it the only way you have to plumb is the perps you don't need to plumb the front because if the two profiles are plumb then if you lay just behind the line all right ah pressure now all oh, right <laughs> Yeah, mate. Yeah, fucking head bollocks, mate. But well, well, once we get to about, it's a bit annoying when you're down low because you're reaching up for it. But once you get up to here, once you, it's so much nicer than bending down all the fucking time trying to pick it up off the floor. Ah? Uh, I bought them. They cost me fucking. They cost me a few quid and all. Oh well, the thing is, it saves my back, and it's fast. When you're building up higher, it's faster because you ain't got to go, and you ain't tiring yourself out as much going up and down all fucking day. Usually, what I do is put scaffold boards through. Once the bricks get down low, I put scaffold boards through and put them up, put all the bricks up on the scaffold board as well. Does that not cause problems with safety people? Nah, well, no one said anything yet. No, no, no one said anything yet, but I know what you mean. They'll probably find something wrong with it, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. Loads. They'll have to get another three gangs in soon, I reckon. <laughs> right, right, you boys are pulling out these fucking footings. Slow down a bit, will ya? Oh. <laughs> fucking fuck that, man. <laughs> uh, where's me fucking... Fuck off! Blame me! Nah, she uh... She's getting minimum, she's getting minimum wage because she does uni and she does childcare and they were giving her minimum wage and they were giving her two hour shifts a day and it was costing her like a fiver to get to work sometimes 
Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> basically, yeah. Put it put it in seven foot of words, yeah. <laughs> She'll, she'll be boss soon, the way she's fucking going on. Fucking beats me up now. Fucking hell. I know. <laughs> what? No, we use this fucking muck up, yeah. Oh, Harry, give them my muck, will ya? I've got fucking loads, they've got none. I know, fucking using up all the muck, look. Oh, it's just sped up now, user watching. She's been going fucking slow as fuck all day. Me back's aching. <laughs> yeah, that's it. His eye on me fucking boards, look. They keep an eye on them now, the old groundwork has fucking seen them. <laughs> uh, Are they gonna get some more? Uh, no, they won't bite none of them. Yeah. <laughs> groundwork has loved fucking freebies, didn't they? Yeah. Always fucking nicking wheelbarrows and muck tubs. It does feel late. It felt like this afternoon has gone a lot slower. Yeah. In the morning, we've got to go, all of us got to go straight up on that lift up there. Yeah. Just go around with a bit of batting each and just clean the wall ties, any little bits of snots down, right down low. He's already, he's already said, oh, there's a few holes. I was like, I don't fucking think so, mate. You mean, you mean pinholes? Yeah. You fucking... <laughs> There's a difference between a hole and a little bit of muck that ain't quite squeezed out of the brick. I have, come and take mine. <laughs> well, fucking go a bit quicker then. <laughs>
Well, that time of day, is it? That time of day, is it? What happened again? Harry, do you want to clean these boards off, mate? <laughs> Don't know, Amy said something. These boards are ready to be cleaned! <laughs> He's done there! No, <laughs> you don't lay, don't lay a brick before the line's up, mate. But me. Feeling brave, are you? <laughs> Right, you start drawing up aim, we'll use up the last of this muck. What's the weather saying for tonight then? No. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking about should we bother covering them up or not? Cloudy. 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 Well, risk it for a biscuit. Well, you can't just clean them and chuck them on the fucking bricks, can't you? She weren't too impressed with you last night, Harry. When I told when I told her when I told her told her that you've fucking broken her pink bucket. She went, he didn't. He knows I said he can't use it, my pink bucket. Gee, I was like, she's going, swear, swear he used it. I was going, I was going. Uh, 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 I best you talk to Harry tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for a forklift driver or something to run it over. All right, I need uh, I need a couple of wall toys. You gonna join up then? Before you want to go. Up? Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> What's that? Get nervous, yeah, I fucking would at all. Nah, you, you're right for water, how you're doing it, you're all good. Yeah, but what? Yeah, mate, that's why I worry. <laughs> I will come back, I'll just start going. <laughs> I'll, I'll quit. <laughs> why is Harry quit? Charlie fucking sacked another one. Nah, he broke Amy's bucket, he fucking, he knew better. Everyone thinks it's me that sacks people. Fucking Amy. No, he's no good, get rid. A few wall ties, Harry. Got any? Yeah, I put them on the hook, sir. So you did.
Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> we'll see if you're saying that in another month. <laughs> <laughs> Finally think we're gonna get a row and we're gonna